What's it look like? Dick. Darts. <laughs> yeah, I, I finally found them. Those are those custom-made hand tool babies I used to use in college when I was a college champion. Champion slash legend. <laughs> yeah, when I hung these babies up, I was undefeated. Now I'm needed again. Oh, this coming Thursday, the station is having a big dart tournament. Tournament slash massacre. Afternoon, Star. Star's better half. Where's that little blonde I like to call Stephanie? She's in that little place we like to call her room. Stephanie, Michael's here. Dick, I'm, uh, I'm setting up teams for the dart tournament. Are you any good? Whoa, bullseyes beware Dick was a champion in college Dick, what would you say if I teamed you and yours truly On the same team with Bev Dutton, the head cheese at WPIV I'd say, are you and Bev lucky? Michael? Guess what? Joanne and I are going to the grand opening of that new French restaurant on Thursday You want to come? It's an opportunity to dress up and be seen with me <laughs> Ouch. The station's annual dart tourney is Thursday. But, Michael, a grand opening happens only once. Annual things are like every year. <laughs> but this is business, Steph, and you do have Joanna to go with. And we can date every night right up to the bad one. Well, I'll try that. But you're still going to have to do something about this. <laughs> then retract lip. <laughs> Let's get out there and date. <laughs> these tournaments. The one time of year we can drop the employer-employee thing and just get together like old friends. <laughs> 85! 85, bud. Read it and weep, bozo. <laughs> We're gonna smoke their butts. Let's not get cocky, Bev. Let's just leave them for dead. <laughs> Hey, Dick, those look neat. Can I use them, too? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, J.J. These are specially balanced for my hand. Fine, Dick. Why don't we all act like we're four and not share our toys? What'd you get, Dick? Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> exactly which team did you plan to leave for dead? Fifteen? I'm not sure what's wrong. Dick, Dick, maybe, maybe you're too tense. Your turn, Michael. Oh, yeah, sure, sorry. <clears throat> All right, now, Dick, I want to see some relaxing, and I want, I want to see it now. How'd you do, Michael? Oh, uh, 128. <laughs> Jeez, that's over a hundred more than Dick. <laughs> Michael, Michael, we're gonna mop up the floor with their heads. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. I, I, I know what it is. I, I've never, never worn a, a jacket like this before, playing darts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's. <laughs> That's much better. The, the jacket w was a culprit. <laughs> yeah, the, the, sh the shirt was a culprit. <laughs> Twenty? <laughs> 
If he says his shorts are the culprit, I'm leaving. <laughs> Steph, what are you doing here? Oh, that stupid restaurant canceled its grand opening. Stephanie, the place caught fire. <laughs> Poor Steph. When you left the house, you had clothes on, right? Joanna, obviously you don't understand ducks. I'm ready, let's go. Go, but this is kind of important, and you said I could have tonight off. That was before I had nothing to do. Michael, it's your turn. Uh, we'll go someplace as soon as the tournament is over. Michael, you want me to wait in a basement where people are perspiring? <laughs> We're leaving. But, Steph, I'm a hero. Dick went to pieces and I'm carrying the day. <laughs> Michael, how does the thought of dating air sound to you? Thanks, everybody. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> Michael! It's amazing he throws darts so well with no spying. <laughs> Very good, George. Yeah, I thought bullseyes were going to be hard to get. But with these darts of yours, you can't miss. <laughs> unless, you're, uh, unless you're real good like you. <laughs> were, you uh, were you throwing from the regulation distance seven feet nine and a quarter inches? Oh, well, see, that explains it. I must have been throwing 15 feet. <laughs> go back and do it right. Oh, uh, Joanne asked me to remind you that it's attic cleaning day. You're kidding. You mean I completely missed attic cleaning Eve? <laughs> Hi, George. Yeah, got a minute? No. Because you left last night, I lost my first start tournament in 17 years. And, and then I, I had to listen to a, a taunting crowd chant, take it off, take it all off. <laughs> I know, Dick. I'm, I'm sorry. You what? I'm sorry. I behave badly, and I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, all right. Who are you, and what have you done with Michael? <laughs> Dick, I, I was mad when Steph made me leave the dart tournament last night, but I thought it would go away. Then in the restaurant, when the champagne tickled her nose and she went, Ooh! All I could think was, I'm not liking you. Dick, I'm scared. I mean, there was one time when I, I didn't like her dress, and there were four humid days when I didn't like her hair. <laughs> but I've never not liked her. Well, maybe the, the first step in getting to like Stephanie again is not letting her walk all over you like, like last night. Well, what could I do? She was stamping her size four foot. <laughs> so? Well, what do you do when Joanna stamps her gunboats? <laughs> First, it isn't like Joanna to, to stamp her, her gun bullets. <laughs> and if, if she did, then I'd, I'd have to um, blow her out of the water. <laughs> Gee, Dick, I never thought I'd want to be you before. <laughs> Honey, I could use your help in the attic. Uh, not just now, dear. Dick, you've been putting this off for months. We really should get on it. I said not now, get out of my face, woman. <laughs> Sorry, Michael, I usually try to do that in private. Dick, if I said that to Steph, she'd leave me and take my tongue with her. But I guess I've got to say something. Get out of my face, woman. Okay, let's hit that attic, sweetheart. Staff? Michael! Steph, you and I have to talk. Yes, Michael? Before we do, could you kiss me again?
No goosebumps. Well, they're probably bunched up underneath your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are they? <laughs> Steph, I'm really sorry, but ever since you made me leave the dart tournament last night, I... I'm having trouble liking you. Well, you're forgiven. <laughs> Steph, listen to me. You run this relationship, and I don't like it, I think. <laughs> Well, this sounds like a criticism. <laughs> and if it is, there are plenty of men out there who would love to make me happy. This is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about, pretty much. <laughs> if I don't do what you want, you threaten to leave me. I can't go on like that. Okay, this is definitely a criticism. <laughs> Michael, I don't waste my time with people who don't like me. Now you have five seconds to reword everything you just said into a compliment. I can't. You're upset. Take another five seconds. Steph, you're not giving me any choice. I can't keep on being with you and loving you and... not liking you. I don't think we should see each other anymore. seem better? Well, you can't walk around grieving. Misery really ages a face. You should remember that, Joanna. <laughs> but I am starting to lose patience with Michael. It's been three days. If he doesn't call pretty soon, this relationship's in big trouble. <laughs> Stephanie, you two broke up. Isn't that sort of the suburbs of trouble? Good morning. So much for your suburbs. Joanna, cup. Stephanie. Good morning, Michael. Steph. Yes, Michael. Could you return my Julio Iglesias album? <laughs> Joanna, is Dick in his office? Yes. Thanks. See you. Well, that's not what he's supposed to do. <laughs> Stephanie, maybe you should talk to him. Joanna, when he ignores me and demands custody of Julio, well, it's over. Starting tonight, I'm dating again. Has, uh, has Stephanie gone? She's out on the porch. Why? <laughs> Michael, she lives here. Oh. Michael, pull yourself together. I can't. But, uh, but, uh, misery ages a face. <laughs> Joanna, I need a man's opinion of how pretty I look. Where's Dick? He met Michael for lunch, and then he went to the station for the show. Is this Sunday already? Let's see. Paul, Jerry, Ken, Bill, Habib. It is Sunday. <laughs> Do you like any of those guys? Well, Ken was nice. But his highest aspiration is to buy a pickup truck and equip it with really big tires. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just that none of them are... Michael? Maybe Patrick will be different. He's an artist. I wouldn't mind seeing paintings of myself in the major museums. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Roses. How original. Joanna, this is Patrick. Hello. Hello. Well, how do I look? Fine. This is a new dress. Looks new. 
Oh, stop. <laughs> That's a very nice shirt. Oh, thanks. It uh, belonged to my brother. He was on a diet, so he uh, gave me all his fat clothes. <laughs> So, Patrick, I hear you're an artist. Where the hell did you hear that? <laughs> you said you were a painter. Well, I used to paint houses, but that was nowhere. Uh, now I sell paint, which is uh, an art in itself. Uh, you know why people buy paint? I mean, ask the layman, he'd say the color. Wrong. It's the name of the color. I mean, the more P's in a paint's name, the better it sells. <laughs> We better go. Where to? How would you like to see a television station? Ah. <laughs> okay, we open the show with some yakety yakety, and go to a diagram of the anteater's lair. Then we trot out the stuffed anteater, and we close with some blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, it's always smart to build to the blah blah blah. <laughs> Uh, J.J., uh, right after the opening, I want a camera on... Uh, ten seconds to air, Dick. What? Nine. Eight. <laughs> oh, my mistake, Dick. Thirty seconds to air. <laughs> I love doing that to him. He always makes the same face. <laughs> hey, the stuffed anteater isn't on the stage. Hey, let me know when you want that anteater. <laughs> Bud. And we're on in three, two, one, and nap time, everybody. And now, Vermont Today, starring Dick Loudon, with today's guest, anteater expert, Francine Marhofer. You, Dick. Francine, you're a Vermont native. How did you become interested in our long-nosed friend from the South? Well, Dick, we have ants in Vermont. Uh, so first, I became Patrick, interested in... Patrick, why don't you wait here and I'll let you know if we so, need to uh, continue this me, date. <laughs> I'll be there by the papaya pink wall. See? Three Ps. <laughs> Michael, I want you to stop this breakup nonsense. I might oh, add Steph, you're willing to compromise? Michael, my part of the compromise is I'm here. Your part is that everything goes back to the way it was before. Let's zoom in on this diagram, and we can all see how anteaters live. <laughs> Steph, I can't go back. You'll just... Who's the guy in the hand-me-downs? He happens to be a respected artist. Ignore him. I said, let's zoom in. J.J. Dick needs a zoom or something. Oh, uh, camera one, zoom in on the diagram. Michael, I've missed you. Haven't you missed me? Well, sure, Steph. It's just not the same lip-syncing to West Side Story without my Maria. <laughs> but I don't miss the way things were. Oh, you were just the most stubborn man. Now that we've taken a good, long look at the diagram, <laughs> let's focus on Francine's stuffed anteater. Okay, where's the anteater? <laughs> So this thing eats ants. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Michael, there's got to be a compromise that doesn't involve me. Afraid not, Steph. Ah, now that the anteater is here, it's exactly as you described it. I'm sure the home audience would agree if we ever show it on camera. <laughs> the audience can't see the anteater. Uh, oh, and they won't. We have to go to commercial. Uh, Q Dick. What? <laughs> we'll, we'll be back with, with the anteater after this message. And roll commercial. What is this? I busted my tail to get you an anteater. There was no rush. <laughs> what the hell is going on up here? If you don't mind, Dick, Michael and Stephanie are trying to patch up. I don't care. Don't listen to them. Direct the show. Anything you say, Dick. <laughs> Michael, will you hurry up and straighten this thing out? My, my anteater show is falling to pieces. I can't, Dick. She won't budge a scooch. <laughs> Stephanie, why won't you budge a scooch? I don't know. It's just... Michael, remember that little red convertible you loved so much? 
And then you got a scratch on it, so you unloaded it. Well, if I back down, it... It's kind of the same as having a scratch. Oh, Steph, I'd never unload you. I'd just like you to come with a few more options. Michael, now I know why I love you. You are the sweetest man that ever lived. Now, what is the least I can do to get you back? And I mean the very least. Let me be selfish sometimes. Like, if you really want Italian, and I really, really, really want Chinese, we go for Chinese. What if I really, really want Italian? Then we count reallys. Deal. Thank God that's over. Steph. More? When we don't agree on something, you can't threaten to leave me. Can I still get mad and pout and go on buying binges? Well, Natch, I never asked to have you declawed. Well, uh, okay. But that is where I draw the line. <laughs> Patrick, go home. Thank you. I had a, I had a really nice time. <laughs> Oh, Steph. Dick, I've never seen such a shambles in my life. What kind of a show are you doing here? Me? No one in the control booth was paying attention. Sure. And at the dart game, you blamed your shirt. Really? J.J. was oh, listening? five seconds, Dick. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that again. Bev, I'm the only one in here who's doing his job. And now, back to Vermont today. Once again, Dick.